because I think as I'm thinking about the manager or leader who's listening to this, mm-hmm. they're saying to themselves, I need to balance spending in individually getting to know each person mm-hmm. and, and, and really being sensitive to each person, but also creating consistency and commonality for everybody. Um, and how do I, how do I do that? Uh, because that is a, that's a, that's a hard balance. Yeah. Yes. So how do I balance the individual and the collective? So another so take, word, take that on, Melody. <laughs> right. Um, another word we're hearing a lot about in this space today is called intersectionality. Um, so I can be intersectionality. Intersectionality. So as my diversity dimensions intersect. I've never heard this word before. Uh, intersectionality. Glad I can offer you something a little new today. Yeah. So I could be. It could be. Um, I could be a black female Muslim woman. Yes. And that combination in and of itself in the workplace can can cause me to have a different experience than somebody sitting next to me. Um, pick any three, right? And so how each human being identifies themselves. Is it always themselves. three or, is, or are you uh, just... Two, three, four It could be, it could be whatever that intersection. So yes. circles kind of connecting like a little Venn diagram kind of Yeah, thing. yeah. But if you ask people like what what is something about you that's very important to how you see the world and how does that play out for you at work? Um, it's amazing the stories you'll get, uh, but it all, it's all connected back to as a... Um, a young first time mother people have a whole different experience than their colleagues oftentimes just based on those dimensions alone uh, so going back to your original question around you know it used to be we all want to fit in let's all be alike and now it's people want to stand out um, my response to that is people just want to be seen for who they are people just want to be seen uh, so can I see you like for example I'll have folks say you know what, when I look out and see people, I just see human beings. I don't see color, I don't see gender, I just see people. And then they smile, and then I smile, and then I remember the song I learned when I was five years old, Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire. And the reason I hear this song in my head is because you cannot grow up into adulthood in any country's culture and not develop a a, a lens or a filter, right, for the way you see and experience the world.